if you are in the new covenant with the law of God written on your hearts, mm -hmm. do you think it's okay to oppress people from a different country living in your land? No, of course not. Oppress people? No. Right. We have to love all, all people. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Do you think it's okay? Would you propagate for businesses to use dishonest weights, measures of scales? And uh, no, I don't, I don't think people should be dishonest, okay. of course. Not. And you would agree that you should love your neighbors, you love yourself? And not kill your enemy, yes. You would agree that you should not curse the deaf, maybe? Curse who? The deaf. Sorry, I don't know what. Do you, what do you, you mean would by... agree that you should not curse someone who can't hear you, someone who's deaf? Uh, yeah, no, no. Okay. We couldn't curse anyone. We should not and, curse anyone. And you don't, you don't steal from people, and you don't murder people, right? You, you don't. So therefore, yes, no. guess what, brother? You are keeping the law of God. Right. Well, we're all trying to do that, Sean. And again, it's it's a tough, hard road. Did you realize that what you've been calling the law of Moses this whole night, you actually keep already? Well, you know, in our little home church, in our little online and home church, uh, we start with the Shema. The Shema is the first and greatest commandment of the old, what I call the old covenant law of Moses. Then why would so, you derogatorily call the law of Moses as something different from what Yeshua said is the law of God? Well, I see the contrast, for example, Paul makes in 1 Corinthians 9.20 when he clearly says, I am not under the law, i.e. the law of Moses, but under the law of Christ. To me, that uh, to never, me and, and most, he sorry. Never, he never said that, by the way, brother. He never says that. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, thank thank you again for inviting me. It's It's been fun. And uh, yeah, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, right. I do. You guys go check out. It's uh, focused on the kingdom of his YouTube channel. If you guys want to hear more uh, from his debates and from his breakdown of these ideas and uh, and hopefully, brother, uh, you know, I would just encourage you to to look <clears throat> into these definitions of words, um, because that's pretty much I think that's really the basis of everything that we disagreed on tonight. And, and what's and it's it's heartbreaking to me because we have so much we agree on. By the way, I'd also encourage you to look into actual biblical cosmology because you'll get your answer on where the New Jerusalem comes from, comes down from the firmament. Um, but ultimately, you know, I just want to strongly encourage you, brother, this really we have to take the father's words for what he said, his definitions. And that, you know, I know that you we, we've disagreed. You've encouraged me to to take a different view. And I, I would try to encourage you to take a different view um, because ultimately you're already doing his behavior as your as a disciple of Yeshua. And that's just crazy for to walk around saying that behavior is somehow bad when you're literally already doing it. So, you know, take it for what it is. And I appreciate you. And I hope that you have a wonderful weekend. Mm -hmm.